Narrated by Ibn Abbas, the Prophet peace be upon him stood up among us, and addressed, saying, You will be gathered, barefooted, naked, and uncircumcised, as Allah says as we began the first creation, we shall repeat it. Surah 21 verse 104, and the first human being to be dressed on the day of resurrection will be, the Prophet Abraham al-Khalil. Then will be brought some men of my followers who will be taken towards the left to the fire, and I will say, O Lord, my companions, whereupon Allah will say, you do not know what they did after you left them. I will then say as the pious slave, Jesus said, and I was witness over them as long as I remained among them. But when you took me, you were the witness over them and you are a witness over all things. If you punish them, they belong to you after all. But if you forgive them, you are surely the Almighty, all-wise. Surah 5 verse 117 to 118 The narrator added, Then it will be said that those people, relegated from Islam, that is, kept on turning on their heels, deserted Islam. Narrated by Aisha Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, The people will be gathered barefooted, naked, and uncircumcised. I said, O oh Allah's Messenger peace be upon him. Will the men and the women look at each other? He said, The situation will be too hard for them to pay attention to that. Narrated by Abdullah While we were in the company of the Prophet peace be upon him in a tent he said, would it please you to be one-fourth of the people of paradise? We said, yes. He said, would it please you to be one-third of the people of paradise? We said, yes. He said, would it please you to be half of the people of paradise? We said, yes. Thereupon he said, I hope that you will be one-half of the people of paradise, for none will enter paradise but a Muslim soul, and you people, in comparison to the people who associate others in worship with Allah, are like a white hair on the skin of a black ox, or a black hair on the skin of a red ox. Narrated Abu Huraira The Prophet peace be upon him said, The first man to be called on the day of resurrection will be Adam who will be shown his offspring, and it will be said to them, This is your father, Adam. Adam will say, Responding to the call, Labak, and Sadak, then Allah will say, to Adam, take out of your offspring, the people of hell. Adam will say, O Lord, how many should I take out? Allah will say, take out ninety-nine out of every hundred. They, the Prophet's companions, said, O Allah's Apostle. If ninety-nine out of every one hundred of us are taken away, what will remain out of us? He said, My followers in comparison to the other nations are like a white hair on a black ox. Narrated by Abu Sa'id The Prophet peace be upon him said, Allah will say, O oh Adam. Adam will reply, Labak and Sadak, I respond to your calls, I am obedient to your orders, while care fi yadak, and all the good is in your hands. Then Allah will say, to Adam, bring out the people of the fire. Adam will say, what, how many, are the people of the fire? Allah will say, out of every thousand, take out, nine hundred and ninety-nine persons. At that time children will become hoary-headed and every pregnant female will drop her load, have an abortion, and you will see the people as if they were drunk, yet not drunk but Allah's punishment will be very severe. That news distressed the companions of the Prophet peace be upon him too much, and they said, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him. Who amongst us will be that man, the lucky one out of one thousand who will be saved from the fire? He said, Have the good news that one thousand will be from Gog and Magog, and the one, to be saved will be, from you. The Prophet peace be upon him added, By him in whose hand my soul is, I hope that you Muslims will be one-third of the people of paradise. On that, 
we glorified and praised Allah and said, Allahu Akbar. The Prophet peace be upon him then said, By him in whose hand my soul is, I hope that you will be one half of the people of paradise, as your Muslims example in comparison to the other people non-Muslims, is like that of a white hair on the skin of a black ox, or a round hairless spot on the foreleg of a donkey.